guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you've probably seen by the title, is a favourites video. Now this is the first time I've ever made a favourites video, so it's not just going to be like a monthly favourite, it's going to be things that I love in general that I've been using for a couple of months and I thought I would just share with you guys. Broke it down into like sections, so I've got makeup, beauty, some home products, fashion, things like that. I've got quite a few things to show and share with you guys, so I'm just gonna crack on. So the first thing I've got is beauty, and for beauty all I've got is four things. The first two are the same product. They are the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Colours. I've got one in a shade called Blush, which is this one, which is more of a lighter pink, and then this one is Rose and Shine. Now, if you've ever worn a matte liquid lip colour, you'll know that your lips can go like really dry and horrible looking, and it goes in like all the lines of your lips, but these are gorgeous. They're quite moisturising, like they don't feel heavy and horrible on your lips. They last a really, really, really long time, so you can eat and drink and it like doesn't go anywhere. And I just love these colours. I'm definitely more of like a pink lipstick kind of girl than any other colour. And yeah, they're really easy colours to wear, really, really nice products. I would definitely, definitely recommend them. The second one is another pink lipstick. This is a natural collection one in the shade Vintage Blossom. As you can see, I've worn it quite a lot. It's the perfect colour. I'm actually wearing it today. It's very similar to my lip colour, but it just gives it like a nice sheen. This is only about £2.50 from Boots. They've got a lovely, lovely shade range. So if you're after a new lipstick, I would definitely check them out. The next kind of semi-beauty thing I've got is this So Vanilla Body Spray. They do loads and loads of different scents in these. They've just brought out actually like another scent range and they've got one in it called Candy Floss, which I am obsessed with. I really need to go and buy it. I've just tried it at work. These are only about two pounds and I love them. They smell fantastic. The smell also stays on you for like quite a long time. So yeah, if you're after just like a little spritz, I would definitely check these out. They're really good value for money. Now moving on to beauty, I've got some hair products, a skin product and a shampoo. So I'll kick off with this, this is the Vaseline Intensive Care Cocoa Radiant Moisturiser. As you can see, it's been very well loved. I love it, it smells, oh it smells like chocolate, it's so nice, it's so moisturising, it's really light on your skin as well, like you put on and it dries really quickly, it's not one of them that sits on your skin for ages. I actually picked this up from Home and Bargains, I think it was about £2.50 and as you can see by the size of the pot it will last such a long time but I love it, I use it morning and night when I've, before I put my makeup on and took my makeup off and I just love it. The next thing I've got is from Boots, it's a tea tree and hazel rose pore strip, you know one of those that you put on your nose, you leave it on for 15 minutes and then you take it off and it brings all your blackheads out. These were also really cheap, I think these were about 5 99 I use one every sort of two to three weeks. Really nice, they, they don't absolutely kill either when you take it off like some of them do. Suffer from blackheads like I do, I would definitely check these out. The products are hair care. I've got a shampoo and then like two heat protectors. Now obviously having bleach on my hair, it dries out very, very quickly. I wash my hair three times a week and I straighten it after I've washed it, if that makes sense. So basically I will wash my hair at night, then that morning I will straighten it and then the following day I won't do anything to it, I will just wear it up in a ponytail. That's how I kind of work with my hair. Now when I've washed my hair, I've just picked up this Garnier Ultimate Blends Strength Restorer Serum from Boots. I think this was half price at about £3.49, but literally I just put a pump in my hand, rub my hands together, like split my hair in two like this, and then just run one pump through like each side of my hair. I only put it through the ends because I think if you put it at the roots and you're prone to greasy hair like I am, it would more than likely make your hair go a bit greasy. But yeah, I've definitely found that this is helping. I don't feel like I've got as much breakage and stuff as I used to. Obviously, I condition it and everything and use a mask once a week when I wash it and stuff. But yeah, I definitely think this is helping. And also, it makes it look like really nice and sleek and not fly away. I also use this alongside this because this doesn't have any heat protector in it. This is the Boots Styleworks Heat Protect Spray. 
does exactly what it says on the tin so I put this on and then I spray this all through my hair and then like brush it so I do this every single time I wash my hair obviously just to get that heat protector in there but again that's really inexpensive I think it was about £3.50 and as you can see it's been well loved I've got another one ready and raring to go upstairs but huge fan of it the next product i've got is a silver shampoo now i use silver shampoo on my hair once a week just to keep any warmth away from it last week i actually used a pink shampoo on my hair so i'm trying to get rid of like the remnants of pink at the moment i'm kind of sick of it but this is fantastic it's called Fanola. i got it off amazon and i think it was about 11.99 for this huge bottle how big is this so this is a thousand ml bottle so it's a really big bottle and i've got to say i've used a lot of silver shampoos and this one is fantastic what i do i wash my hair and then leave this shampoo on while i'm washing my face and then give it a really good scrub through all my blonde bits to make sure it's out and then rinse it out it will stain your hands and it will stain your shower so what i've started doing now is when i wash my hair with it using plastic gloves i find that easier and then you're not trying to get purple off your hands for ages it doesn't leave any purple tinge on your hair the way i use it if you used it every day it probably would because it, it is quite strong but yeah as i say i only use it once a week and that's enough for me to keep it how it is but if you're on the market for a fantastic silver shampoo definitely definitely check this out i found out about it on like a makeup group on facebook everybody said either this one or the fudge one so i checked out this one and i've got to say it's fantastic honestly if you buy anything from this video and you've got blonde hair make it this it is amazing so moving away from beauty i've got a couple of fashiony bits which i thought i would run through with you now if you saw my last video which was like a collective haul in it you will have seen these next two items the first ones are these sunglasses i picked these up from primark i am obsessed with those kind of sunglasses though that only look good if you've got makeup on like if you wear them without makeup they i don't think they suit me whatsoever but i love them i think they're so cute i love the color i love the reflective lenses i think they were about two pounds love them one of my favorite things in spring so far the next thing i'm obsessed with which was again in my primark haul are these sandals i've only managed to wear them about two or three times because unfortunately the weather hasn't been so fantastic but the good weather that we had was it like last week or the week before when it was like summer for three days and that's probably all we'll have i lived and died in these shoes they're like fake birkenstocks like dusky pink with like gold detailing and they are so comfy i really thought that they would rub like here which you know most flip-flops tend to rub the first couple of times you wear them but they honestly didn't i even walked the dog in them they are so comfortable and I think these were like six pounds. I think they had them in another colour when I went. I think they were like a like a beigey colour. So when I get paid at the end, I'm gonna pick up the next pair. I am obsessed with them and they're so comfortable. The next two things I've got are books. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you will probably see that I've been talking about these two books. If you don't follow me on Instagram, my name is the same as my YouTube channel name. So it's Mrs. Jones 140. So I would love you to go over there and check my channel out. Two books to talk about. The first one, Louise Pentland, Wild Like Me. I loved it. Can't wait for her to bring out her next one this year. It's both of them really. If you're after like a really easy read, if you're off on holiday and want something fab that you just can't put down, but it's super easy to read, I would definitely check this out. Yeah, this one was great. A really light-hearted, easy read. It's the first one I think actually I've read by Sophie Kinsella. Fab, and I would definitely check it out. The next two things are homeware bits. Everybody talks about this on YouTube. I could not not include it in my favorites does that make sense it's the method anti-back in wild rhubarb this smells fantastic i wish they did a candle because it smells that good the only problem is my hay fever is crazy at the moment you can probably hear them a little bit congested and whenever i spray this it makes me sneeze like crazy but it is gorgeous i love it it lasts for ages i've used like all the cleaners like just own brand ones like aldi ones and tesco own brand ones and I usually use like a bottle a week. This lasts me like two, two and a bit weeks. I don't understand why, because the bottle doesn't look necessarily that much more. It just seems to last longer, but you, I don't need to tell you about this. Everybody talks about it, but I had to just include it because it has definitely been a favorite. 
One of my other favourites has been this fabric conditioner. Now this is an Aldi fabric conditioner in magnolia and strawberry. And oh my word, oh, it smells so nice. It doesn't smell like strawberry, maybe it smells like magnolia. I'm not sure what they smell like. But um, they do other ones, they do like an orange one which is peach and then a blue one. But this is definitely my favourite. It smells gorgeous and not only does it smell gorgeous, you can actually smell it on your clothes after you've like washed and hung them up and stuff you can actually smell it which i don't find you can with a lot of fabric conditioners yes you smell it maybe at first but with this i find you can smell it even after they've maybe been in the wardrobe for a week or so so yeah definitely check this out if you shop at aldi do the pink one though i'm not massively keen on is they smell nice but you don't get the payoff like you do with this one the next thing i wanted to share with you guys is a bit of a techie one and it's my apple airpods now i honestly don't know how i survived before I got these. I honestly don't. I use them every single day of my life. They are quite pricey and I'm assuming they'll only work if you've got an iPhone. I Paul bought them me for Christmas. I think he said they were about £160, but they are fantastic. If you are after Bluetooth headphones, check these out. I love how they come with this little pod. They hold their charge amazingly well. Like you don't need to charge them every single night. And it is so nice not having a wire. Honestly, I can't tell you how freeing it is. I think people tend to go into two different categories, whether you like over the head ones or in the ear ones. I personally prefer in the ear ones. And I just got to say, I didn't think I would use them as much as I do. I honestly use them every single day of my life. I love them. What you do is this little pod charges the headphones and then you charge this little pod. But I probably charge it like once a week. Like that's it. And it just charges with your iPhone phone charger. So you don't need to buy any fancy like chargers or anything like that. But they are fantastic. If you've got a birthday coming up or anything like that, and you've got an iPhone, I would really add these to your list. They are fantastic. Another favourite I've got to show with you guys is a game I've been playing on my phone. Now this probably sounds really, really pathetic, but it's a game called Pixel Art. I am obsessed with it. I can literally spend like an hour at a time just doing these stupid colourings. Paul's always like, oh, you're playing your game. I find it really quite relaxing as well and I find that like I can't rest until I've actually coloured the picture in. If you're after something just to wind you down a little bit, I would definitely recommend Pixel Eyes. <laughs> I sound like such a geek saying it, but I am honestly really, really enjoying the game. Television shows I've been loving this month have been, well, kind of like Netflix in general, really. I've been catching up on a lot on Netflix. Getting back into Orange is the New Black, obsessed with that. Episodes. Now, I've been watching, is it season five or something? It's just recently come back on BBC Two. So I thought I would binge watch it when I saw that it was on Netflix, the previous series. And I am just obsessed. I literally lie there in bed watching episodes on my computer and playing Pixel Art on my phone. That is the definition of my life right now. Like, come on, you all wish you were as cool as I am. But yeah, I'm really, really into that at the moment. If I'm not watching Netflix, I'm watching YouTubers. By YouTubers, I mean probably <laughs> Louise Pentland. I'm a fangirl at the moment. And can I just say, also, massive claim to fame here, I posted a picture on Instagram of me reading her book and she added it onto her stories. Can we just add that there? That's my claim to fame. She saw my picture and she put it on her Instagram story. What, like 2011, 2012 she started her channel? There is so many videos to binge watch. Like, I'm obsessed with it. Another YouTuber I've been absolutely loving is Brogan Tate. I just love her videos. Effort she puts into her videos, they're just fantastic. The quality is amazing. And I love her vlogs. I watch her packing videos, even though I'm not planning on going abroad this year. I just love the content that she puts out there. She's one of them people that I think if I ever actually met her, I could actually be really good friends with her. She seems like a really nice down-to-earth girl. And I love that things are happening for her with YouTube and that she can... She's kind of on the process to making it her full-time job. She definitely, definitely deserves it. I can just tell she gives it 100%. So if you've not checked out Brogan before, I shall leave the link down below. Now, you've probably heard enough of me waffling now, so I think this is the perfect time to end the video. Thank you for watching. If you've seen anything that you like the look of, let me know. As I say, if you have blonde hair, check out the silver shampoo. If you're in the market for some lovely new flip flops, check these out. And yeah, if this is the first video of mine that you've checked out, I would love you to subscribe to keep up to date with all my future content. Over here, I make vlogs, shopping hauls, 
and just share my general day-to-day -day life with you. So thank you for watching guys and I shall see you in my next one. Bye!